Hello everybody and welcome to Chris Aditya. Today we're going to be doing another video on Scratch and today's project is called Sprint. So let's get started. So today we're going to be um, doing the Sprint project and um, here's what we're going to be making. So you have to press this 3, 2, 1 and you have to press the right and arrow keys really fast to get to the finish line. And it gets your time and then the distance. So um, that's what we're going to be making. So let's get started. So we need to open the starter project. So go here in the starter project. I'm going to bring it to this page. And we're going to click the remix button here. And now we can get started. So let's put the finish line on the horizon. So click on the finish line. And then go to events, when flag clicked, motion, go to x, negative 2, negative 61, change that to 0, 30, and set size to 1%. So go to looks, set size to 100%, change 100% to 1%. So now if we press the play button, it's all the way out there this little tiny speck okay and then we want to do the save blocks to create a countdown to um, start the uh, start the race so we need to go to looks again say hello for two seconds change that to three and set two to one second another hello block say block and then two and set this to one second another one and then set this to one and one second and then we want to go to events broadcast message one and click on message one and then click new message and type in start so now it will do three two one and then it will broadcast the message start so we can also add sound. So um, if we want to add sound, what we can do is we can go to sound and start sound cheer, put it right here before the broadcast start. And um, we want to go to type in, I mean, click siren whistle. So now if we try it, and it makes the noise. So now we go to the next step. So we need to add a distance variable to scratch. So go to variables, make a variable, name it distance. Okay. And then now there's a thing here, distance. We want to drag it to the top right corner. So click on it and then drag it to the top right. Like here. Like that. So now it's in the top right corner. So we want to set distance to zero when the flag is clicked. So go to variables again, set distance to zero right here. And then on the finish line, when I receive start, so in events, when I receive message one, change it to start and then go to control, repeat until, and then we want to do distance equals 100. So go to operators, we want to go to equals, which is right. Plus 50 this one right here and drag that into the diamond which should like highlight so it can just snap in like that and then we want to get variables and then the circle block like distance and drag that in here it should highlight and then it'll snap in and change 50 to 100 okay and now we need to add code to detect if our arrow keys are pressed so wait until left arrow key pressed so go to events, 
I mean, control. Wait until. Where's wait until? Wait until is in. Wait and control. It's in control. So wait until. Drag it into here. And then go to sensing. To get key space pressed and drag it into the diamond like we did with this one. Dot equals to. And change space to left arrow. And then we want to do changing the size by one so it becomes bigger. Change size by 10, drag it under, and change 10 to 1. And then change distance, change distance by 1, like this, these two blocks. So now if we test it out, we press the left arrow, it becomes bigger, 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 but it doesn't like really move across the track. So we also need to do change y by negative 1.5. So let's go to motion and change y by 10. Drag it under change size by 1 and do negative 1.5. Now if we retry it, and it looks a, a little more like the track is coming towards us. And then once we reach 100, it stops because of the code here. Repeat until. So now we need to do the same for the right arrow key. So we're just going to do right click on the wait until block, duplicate, put it right under here, click on left arrow, and change it to right arrow. So now, if we try it out, we have to press, we have to press the right arrow key. We can't just keep pressing the left arrow key. We have to press the right arrow key too. And we can't just keep pressing the right arrow key either. We have to press this, this, this. Really fast, as fast as you can. Like that. So now if we click on the finish line costumes, go to finish line, click on the finish line sprite, go to costumes, and then here it says broken, and then normal, right? So what we want to do is once everything is done, once we've reached 100, we want to switch costume to broken and then stop everything so once everything's done we want to go to set looks set costume which is switch costume to broken switch costume to broken and then go to control stop all okay and then when flag clicked we want to go to looks and set it to switch costume to broken and change broken to normal. So now if we try it out again, it's normal. And then Okay, and then it switches to the broken sprite. So that's good. And then We want to play a sound at the end. We need to have to change our stop all to stop other scripts in the sprite. That means the, the timer will stop counting, but the sound will still play. So instead of stop all, we want to do other scripts in the sprite. And then we want to add the sound, start sounds cheater, like this. Now if we try this. hold down the two keys and it immediately just keeps going so we need to fix this we need to fix this by um, waiting until you release it to um, let it uh, let it so we need to press it and then release it for it to go forward not just hold it down both of them and it goes immediately really fast so to do that 
we can duplicate I mean we, we don't have to duplicate we can go to um, events I mean control do wait until under here and then go to operators and do a not operator which basically flips it so yeah it's waiting for it not to be pressed and then we can duplicate key left arrow pressed and drag it into here okay. so then we can do the same for this so I'm just gonna duplicate this oh I don't want to do that Oops. let's go I'm just gonna delete this and do that I'll just add the code again Okay, there you go. And I can delete the last bit here to fix the code. Okay, so it should look like this. And then we need to go to a control, wait until, put it under the first wait until, and then operators, not. And then we can duplicate just the diamond block, duplicate and put it inside the not. Okay, now if we try it again, we, we can't just hold it, we have to actually release it. I can't just hold it down. So now we need to add a timer. So we're going to add a new variable, go to variables, um, and then we want to make a variable called time. And now to the top left corner, it automatically went to the top left corner. So we want to set time to zero at the start of our game. So when flat clicked all the way up here, we're going to set time to zero. So let's drag set distance in and click on distance and do time. Okay. And then when I receive start, so what we need to do, instead of doing it here, we can make a new one, events. When I receive start, drag that from events, and forever, control, forever, right here. We want to wait 0 0.1 seconds, events, go down and go to wait one second change it to 0 0.1 second, one tenth of a second, and then change time by 0 0.1. So one tenth of a second. So we can do change time by one, but we, instead of distance, we want to make this time and then make this 0 0.1. Now if we try it out, the timer starts. Let's see if we can try beating that. Okay, so now we need to add scenery. So we want to position the tree and then make it small when the flag is clicked and then set size to 1%. So we want to get the tree. We want to add one flag clicked. So events, one flag clicked. And then looks, drag and show. And then go to go to lock and then change this to negative 50 and then 20 and then set size to 1% so go to looks set size to 100% change it to set size to 1% so now if we try it we have a tree right here Okay, I'm gonna stop it. And then we also want to add when I receive start. So from events, when I receive start, repeat until distance equals 100. We wanna, we wanna take that. So to do that, I'm not gonna write all this code again because I don't need to. So if we go to our, if we go to our finish line sprite and then click and drag click and drag 
this code into the tree, then the the code will be in this tree sprite. And then I can just drag it into here. I dragged the wrong code, so I'm just gonna delete this. Go back to finish line, drag the repeat until two, so this whole block of code, and then drag it into the tree, and then go back to the tree, and we have this whole block of code. We don't need the we don't need the right arrow pressed, so we can delete the right arrow pressed and put it back here. And um, we don't we don't want to change the distance because we're already changing a distance. So we can delete change distance, change size by one, change y by negative one point five, and we want to change x by t negative two. So let's set change x by ten and change that to negative two. Now if we try it out, it's the tiny tree in the background. And then the tree gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And, bigger and, bigger and, bigger and finally it's So we want to do the same thing for the right arrow key. So we can just duplicate this block of code and put it under and change these two to right and right. Now if we try it out again. I beat my record from 8.4 to 8.2. So now we need a, this is a challenge to add a spectator. So I'll leave that to you if you want to do that. And um, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and um, I'll see you next time.